Hey guys, welcome to Sassy Sticky Styles. Um, this is a duct tape vest that I made. Um, I made this actually, like right after I made my prom duct tape vest for my, uh, for my date. And this is just the plaid. It's all lined up, as you can see. It's beautiful. There's just a little spot right here that I messed up on. Eh. Whatever. I had to go out and get more tape because I actually ran out of the plaid. So, there's that. The back is green. It's a little short vest. Um, it's for like a female. And how it is done up right here is I have Velcro. Just two circle Velcro pieces on each. And then I made this so it's actually reversible. So on the other side, it is... So you put it on. It is rock tape. Um, I figured, hey, your vest, why not rock tape? Because I'm going to rock it. And then on the back is the electric blue. Um, I haven't really used the rock tape for a whole lot, but I thought this would be pretty cool to do. And then, yeah. So I made the rock tape, and since this is all just reversible, it just turned out so that this Velcro does work for both sides. So. I can do that up. It's not going to come off. Pretty movable. Put my arms up, down, whatever. Yeah, I loved it. And I actually wore this to school after the day after prom. And so uh, me and my prom date, like, he wore his vest and his tie that I made him. And I wore this and a pink tie that I made out of duct tape, uh, which I will show you. So there's that. And so for my prom attire, I will be putting on my dress so you guys can see. Um, so I'll start out with his outfit. First off, his vest. It doesn't fit me. It, I made it to fit him. So here's that. And the boutonniere, as you can see. It's just um, the blue, or I think I used teal, yeah, I use the teal, the white, and the purple, just with some green leaves on there, and then we added buttons, I don't know if you guys can see that, and then it all just buttoned up on this side also, like, little snap buttons, inside of it is just all gray, just because nobody was going to see it, so if you can imagine, the vest, and he had a purple tie, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so there's that. And then his pants, they are all made out of duct tape. It's all wrinkly now, just because my, the prom was back in June on the 2nd, and this is December. They've been <laughs> bundled up in, like, a garment bag. So anyways, here, more light, are the pants. They're all duct tape. Um, and they actually fit him perfectly. There's that. The legs. Like I said, they're just all wrinkled up, but they did fit him and everything. Um, I made the crotch part so he could get out and go to the bathroom. There's this black Velcro here and here. Just like that, and it opens up. Um, I did a little patchwork because <laughs> they ripped once he put them on. So, duct tape fixes everything. Uh, inside is just all gray, all down the pants. So, um, and I made them, I used a pattern for pants, and then I, like, copied it, and then I made this huge, huge strip of duct tape, like, my big green cutting board that I have, um, I used that to make these. So it was interesting, but, so, those are the pants. Uh, for the shoes... I just made these shoe coverings, um, as you can see, and they're just like open. I made them look like old spat shoes, so I'm really proud of those. And I put like little black things for like the laces. And so here's the bottom of them. On the inside is like just like gray and this cheap like green duct tape in front of the Dollar Tree, just because I figured nobody's gonna see the inside. It's falling apart. <laughs> oh man. So, there's that. 
and I just put my shoe inside of it so you can see how that looks. So it looks like a real shoe. And then his pants obviously covered this part right here. There's the bottom, the ball of the foot, and the heel. So he did have some traction, and so, I don't know, I didn't really see this um, online or anything. I just kind of thought about it, and I was trying to figure out, I was going to make them, the shoes like all out of duct tape, but I figured that'd probably be pretty uncomfortable. So I just did like a little shoe cover, and it worked out perfectly. I loved it. Everybody loved him, so that's great. Um, so there's that. Last part of his outfit, which I'm most proud of, is the top hat that I made for him. So it's the top. And um, you will see on my dress that this design is a silhouette of a tree. It's just white, and then there's a purple bow right here that I made with the white trim around it. The brim has the teal, and so the purple, purple, teal, and the white, and the black all go into my dress. Um, so this is that. I can put it on. It actually fits me. doesn't look as good on me, but there it is. Okay, guys, here's my dress. Um, <laughs> I took a little effort to get it on. Uh, it's been folded up inside of a green, like, storage bin, so it's all wrinkly and kind of got flattened out up here in the chest part, but um, in this strap, it doesn't belong there. Just imagine that. I'm just wearing like a singlet thing underneath of it. So I can show you guys. So this is the like the back part. And it's not laced up right now just because I need somebody else to help me and I'm just filming all by myself. So here's the back. And what we did is I had my dad's girlfriend help me and I got this uh purple like lace ribbon and I had her sew elastic in this scrunched up part right here. And so that's all laced up and it made a cute bow. I'll post pictures up um, at the end of this video. But So here's the top. It's purple. And then I did a teal trim that comes down on my right side. I actually did a pleat down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's like a little like lip opening and there's some more teal right underneath of it so it doesn't show anything. Um, I did that so that way I could sit down. Ah, so I was able to sit. Um, and then the teal trim just continues all the way down to that very bottom part. On my left side you got to see and so you'll see now hopefully um, it's a silhouette tree and it's black on white all of these little pieces, I know you can't see in the video, but I had to cut them out individually and stick them on there. And the tree alone, man, I think the tree alone took me about five hours just by itself. Um, just because I had to get all of these details, making it look even and kind of fuller like a fall tree. So, and like, same thing with this tree right here. So it'll give you a better idea of what my tree on my dress looks like. Just all individually pieced on there. So, this is what this looks like. Oh, and my boutonniere. I made it to match, or my corsage made it to match the boutonniere. Uh, mine just has three flowers, his has two. For the bracelet part, I just used an old, like, beaded bracelet. You can see one of the beads right here because it's all coming apart. But, um, and I just made, like, three little sections of duct tape. And so that seemed to work pretty well. It just has, like, the stretchy string. So just a little wobbly, but everybody loved it and it was great. For my shoes, I did a hybrid of a pair of shoes that I had, um, or it was of a pair of shoes I had. It's just a little heel. And then I incorporated the colors to match my dress, so the purple, the white, and this teal strip right up here. Um, I tried to actually, like, pick out the colors, like, where they are and, like, how much. 
um, just because like the purple band right across here like represents this band across the top of my dress. And then this teal one going down my foot, down here, it would represent this teal piece right here. So a lot of thought did go into um, where the colors went on my shoes. And so that is that. I think that's everything. Go ahead and comment, and if you guys like my dress, you can comment, like it. Um, I entered the scholarship. What happened was that I didn't win to get into the top ten. Um, but thank you guys for voting for me, if you guys did, and to all my friends and family who voted for me. So that is that. I'll do one turn around so you can see. <laughs> and how I made this dress was I made it on a form um, and it was an adjustable form and so I made it to my size I actually used one of my own bras because the form's chest was smaller than mine so um, yeah so I just did this and I just wore like Spanx underneath of it I stayed relatively cool but my date him um, he got really hot, like his legs, because of the duct tape. It, it isn't really breathable, but yeah. So that's that. Hope you guys like my dress. Comment, subscribe, like. Um, if you guys, I guess, have any other clothing things that I can make, I guess go ahead and comment, and I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you.